good morning dear children i welcome all of you to the online class of maths in the previous class we have discussed about three digit subtraction with borrowing and we have also discussed about different methods which we can use to check the difference today we are going to do word problems on subtraction children like addition the concept of subtraction is used in many day to day problems let us study some examples exercise 3.5 of your book includes word problems on subtraction let's take the first example shekhar bought 289 bottles of soft drinks on his birthday 173 bottles were used and remaining bottles were used next day on his sister's birthday how many bottles were used on his sister's birthday write the number sentence now after reading this question you have must understood that this statement is regarding shekhar who has bought some bottles of soft drinks on his birthday he has bought 289 bottles but out of these bottles only 173 bottles were used and the bottles which were left he used those bottles of soft drinks on his sister's birthday and here in this word problem you have to find out how many bottles were used on his sister's birthday or you can also say that how many bottles were left on shekhar's birthday also you have to write down the number sentence now let's see how you will write it down the very first statement which you can frame is number of bottles first of all you have to write down the total number of bottles which shekhar has bought and it is 289 the second statement which you can frame is the number of bottles used so shekhar on his birthday he used 173 bottles so you can write down number of bottles used you have to find out how many bottles were left so third statement will be number of bottles left is equal to you have to subtract 173 from 289 when you will subtract it you will get 116 as answer so while concluding your answer you have to write down the answer in a statement you can write it as therefore he used 116 bottles on his sister's birthday children in this question they have also asked you to write down the number sentence now what is number sentence number sentence is 289 minus 173 is equal to 160 it is the numbers which you have subtracted and the answer that you get it forms the number sentence now see how you have subtracted these numbers to get the answer you have subtracted 289 and 173 here you can see borrowing is not required so simply you can subtract because all the digits that are on top are greater than the digits which are written below it 9 minus 3 is 6 8 minus 7 is 1 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so the answer that you got is 116 let's take another example This is tenth question of the same exercise. In a cricket match, our team scored 435 runs and Australian team scored 146 runs less than our team. How many runs did Australian team scored? Now, after reading this question, you have understood that in a cricket match, the run scored by our team is. 435 and the runs scored by australian team you have to find out but australian team has scored 146 runs less than our team so here you have to subtract 146 from 435 and you will get the answer 289 that is 
the 289 runs were scored by Australian team. Now how to frame the statements? First of all write down the number of runs our team scored that is 435. Then write down the number of runs by which our team won that is 146 because Australian team has scored 146 runs less than so that means our team must have won by 146 runs. Then you have to find out number of runs scored by Australian team which you can simply find out by subtracting 146 and 435 and as uh, I have already discussed about how to subtract and what answer did you get. The answer that you get is 289. So Australian team have scored 289 runs. While writing statements, children always remember that statements should be short but complete in itself. You can write statements on your own in any way but they should be complete in itself and try to make short statements. This is about how to find out answers of word problems. Now let's see how you can frame word problems. And you can also call it as story writing. Different word problems can be found for a single subtraction fact. Let's take an example. Suppose this is a subtraction fact which is given to you. That is 30 minus 14 is equal to dash you have to find out. But here you have to frame the word problem. No need to find out the answer here. You have to frame the word problem. This is an example. This can stand for many word problems. Like there are 30 Hindi books in a library and rest are English. How many English books are there in a library? This is one of the word problem which you can frame. Or Rahul bought 30 eggs from the shop. 14 of them broke. How many eggs are left now? You can also frame this word problem. Aruna invited 30 friends on her birthday party. She had 14 cupcakes for them. How many more cupcakes does he need more? So you have seen that you can frame a number of word problems on your own on this one single subtraction fact. This is how you can frame word problems. It's time for your home assignment now. Do question 2, 6, 13 and 15 of exercise 3.5 and also do question 2 and 3 of exercise 3.6 in your notebook which includes framing word problems. That's all for today kids. Thank you so much.